Klaus, you, you are potentially a backstop, or your institution is potentially a backstop player in this exercise. Um, if there is a capital need and then the, the individual country needs an additional support. Do you, so you're watching this not completely from the outside. Are you confident that this third time around, the stress tests and this whole process can be done in a way that restores confidence? And what do you think your institution's role should be? Well, I think it's reassuring that the ECB takes a very clear view here that this is a critical moment. We know there are all these rumors out in the market um, about potential gaps in, um, in, in bank capital. Um, I think at CCB and also my view, the result will be maybe not that bad. But it's very important to get a clear result, trans a transparent result that's credible so that these rumors and suspicions disappear. And as Jörg explained, um, the ECB is fully aware of that. And therefore, I think they will do everything necessary together with EBA, of course, the European Banking Authority, to have a credible um, exercise here. You said the potential role of the ESM, and the word potential is important because there are a few things we can do already now. There are a few things under discussion um, where the finance ministers of the Eurogroup have taken preliminary views, and then there are a few other elements that are not yet really discussed. What we could do today um, with banks is what we did in the case of Spain, um, restructure banks in a country by giving a loan to the government earmarked for the banking sector, um, but the relationship is with the government, with the authorities. So that's an instrument that has been used, it's available, could also be used in the future. We have discussed for some time, as you know, the possibility of direct bank recap. The Euro area finance ministers have agreed that this should become an instrument once the single supervisor is up and running. So that's in about a year from now. It still requires a unanimous decision of the Euro area finance ministers. So it's not legally speaking available yet, but the Euro area has made it clear that they want to create it. And then what is also more recently under discussion whether the ESM should be a financial backstop to the single resolution mechanism and the single resolution fund. That instrument does not exist at the moment. We would have to change the ESM treaty to create it, not the EU treaty, but the ESM treaty. Um, it's sometimes mixed up. Um, that is a difficult process, but it's not quite as difficult as changing the EU treaty, so it's possible if there's the political will, um, but that would have to be decided, does not exist yet. Do you think so that these are the idea? different possibilities. Would that be a good idea to have that backstop, do you think? Well, it depends um, what is needed in the overall framework. Um, I think backstops in the end are needed, um, but we don't know what will happen exactly. We have the proposal from the European Commission to create a single resolution fund, which would build up over a 10-year period. Um, there's no agreement yet. It has also to be discussed with the Council and the European Parliament. If this proposal became law, um, then obviously the funds would build up slowly. Initially, there would not be very much money, so a backstop would make a lot of sense. But even in the long run, like in the United States, the FDIC um, has a line of credit with the US Treasury, which has not been used very often. It's um, good to have it. It's a bit like OMT, good to have, but ideally never used. Um, so I think that should, in the end, become part of the system. What, um, your institution, the EMS now, you're, you're there, you've just raised five-year capital. Uh, you, what do you imagine you will be doing in five years' time? I mean, there are so many potential tasks that are being, have been assigned to you, and as you say, potential ones. Are you going to be a kind of European monetary fund, a sort of, or are you going to be a much more integral part in terms of you know, a backstop to the banking sector across Europe? What, what, where do you see your institution going? Um, I've learned the last three years not to look ahead more than one year, so five-year time horizon <laughs> is pretty long for me um, because I've learned that things move so quickly. Um, I think the ESM together with the EFSF, which continues to exist because it continues to finance the first three countries, Ireland, Portugal, and Greece, are very much um, part of the system that we have in Europe. And the different players have their very clear role, the Commission, the ECB, um, and the ECB in two functions in the future. Um, there has to be a single resolution 
mechanism somehow. Um, we play our role on the financing side, and I think that is already a lot when you look back where we were three years ago. If you had asked somebody three years ago whether we would have all that in place and whether during these three years EFSF and ESM would have dispersed 210 billion euro to five countries, I don't think anybody would have believed that. And it's not only that we are dispersing that big amount of money, which is almost three times what the IMF has dispersed um, during that period, um, we are dispersing this conditionality and we see the positive result. Conditionality works. Um, Are you suggesting the, the IMF is doing it without conditionality? No, no. <laughs> they also do it. So we, we learn from the IMF. We are applying um, the IMF system. Um, but we do it in a different way because we have other institutions. And therefore, we don't need a European monetary fund in the sense that one institution does everything that the IMF does globally. We have the Commission. I know how competent they are. I worked there for a while. Um, they will continue to do um, forecasts and country analysis and conditionality. Um, the ECB will be involved in that. Um, ESM is very happy to do, continue to do the financing, um, be involved in the, in the exercise, but we will not have one institution that does everything in Europe that the IMF does globally.